This is the brand new V-Raptor X, which Red just announced alongside the V-Raptor XLX and the new Red EVF for DSMC3 platform. Now, Red very generously sent us the standard V-Raptor X to play with for a day or two, so this will be more of a quick look, but based on everything that's new here, we are definitely hoping we get some more time to play with this soon. Both the V-Raptor X and XLX are full VV 8K cinema cameras with several key upgrades over the previous V-Raptors, the biggest one being that these are now global shutter cameras, just like the Komodo line. But Red is using this new global shutter in the V-Raptor X line to add a suite of brand new tools and features that will allow this camera to do some pretty amazing things, like see further into highlight detail and streamline virtual production environments. But before we get to that, real quick, first let's go over the camera itself. Now, if you're familiar with the V-Raptor, there's not a lot of surprises here in terms of dimensions and I.O. On the back, you've got your two 12G SDI ports, USB-C interface, 9-pin extension port, and 3.5mm headphone port. You're also getting the same 5-pin mic slash line input with phantom power, but Red says the preamps have been improved here for shooters recording their audio directly onto the camera. It accepts V-mount or gold-mount batteries for power and CF Express B cards for media, and then on the front you have got that glorious 8K VV sensor with the new global shutter. And on the V-Raptor XLX, this includes the same expanded I.O. array found in the previous XL, along with the built-in electronic ND filters and dual-voltage battery support. But now let's talk about global shutter. Now, if you're watching this video, there's already a pretty good chance that you know the advantages that this brings. By reading out the entire sensor at once, you remove any trace of rolling shutter and that dreaded jelly effect from appearing in your video. While in the past, global shutter could result in a hit to your image quality, Red states that this is a no-compromise global shutter with no sacrifices to speed, resolution, or dynamic range. In fact, there's actually some enhancements to dynamic range, which we'll talk about in a minute. While the previous V-Raptors had some of the fastest sensor readouts out there, the fact that all of Red's newest cameras now feature global shutter is a big deal. And part of that big deal is the fact that Red is utilizing the global shutter in the V-Raptor X line to introduce a sort of global vision for this enhancement that it calls global vision. Now this refers to a string of new things that the V-Raptor X line can do specifically because of this global shutter, starting with extended highlights. This can be enabled or disabled in the settings, but when it's turned on, the V-Raptor X can see even further into highlight detail, which provides more detail for HDR finishes or softer and more subtle highlight roll-off for SDR. And to clarify, this is not a shift in the dynamic range that causes you to lose detail in the shadows. It's simply a toggle switch that will reach deeper into the highlights and recover data that was otherwise showing as clipped on your false colors. And like all things in the R3D workflow, it's non-destructive and can be toggled off and on in post-production if needed. Having this feature on does result in a hit to your available frame rates and an increase in your data rates, however. So Red recommends enabling it in extreme situations where the standard 17 stops of dynamic range somehow isn't enough. Another global vision enhancement is Phantom Track for streamlining virtual production environments. Now we weren't able to test this unfortunately, but for environments utilizing ghost frame or frame remapping, the V-Raptor X line can capture distinct R3D clips per each subframe, then allow you to monitor either view live on set over each SDI. In this environment, the V-Raptor X is essentially doing the work of two cameras at once, since it will allow you to capture one track recording the virtual environment, with a second track basically recording a green screen backup of the same clip. Also, the camera has you covered for IP connectivity by featuring full Red Connect compatibility, built-in frame.io integration, and AWS Direct Upload. And finally, we should mention that Red is also bringing back their upgrade program, which will allow current V-Raptor and V-Raptor XL owners to advance into the X systems featuring Red Global Vision. But along with the cameras, RED also released their new EVF for the DSMC3 generation. Now, this EVF maintains the same single cable design and button controls as their previous EVF for DSMC2, but otherwise brings some key improvements. You can control the camera directly from the EVF or use the buttons as hotkeys, you have an in-camera control of the OLED brightness, and you've got improved eye cup retention with a new screw-down system. This EVF will work on all V-Raptor models as well as the Komodo X after a firmware update coming in February. The Red V-Raptor X and XLX are gonna be a very big deal for professionals operating in extremely high-end workflows. A new no-compromise global shutter is great, but the specific global vision enhancements really do push this camera over the edge for those working in virtual production environments or those needing maximum dynamic range options. But what are your first impressions on the V-Raptor X? Let us know in the comments below. Seriously, we do read them. I'm Nick with B&H. Stay creative.